Hello friends and welcome to another class for standard 8 and in today's class we are going to discuss the activities of the lesson the shipwrecked sailor the first activity we have already done in the previous video if you haven't seen that video you watch that video and you you can subscribe to our channel to get more videos like this so let's go to the next activity activity number two you have identified the major events of the story haven't you here is a graphic story for you study the pictures carefully and write the appropriate events from the story in the space provided try to add possible dialogues too now you can narrate the story from the point of view of velasco some events are given to help you so this is the second activity in your textbook so what you are going to do here is here is a graphic representation of the story and you have to write what is that event and there is an option to write the possible dialogues as well so you just see each and every picture and write what you see in that picture and write the dialogues of the characters in that picture okay so let's go to those pictures and before that you have to remember one thing that the story is now narrated from the point of view of Velasco and when you are studying the lesson a shipwreck sailor you are actually hearing the story from Velasco that means that one is first person narrative and now you are narrating the story from the viewpoint of Velasco. You are Velasco and you are telling the story. So you have to see the pictures right under the picture what you see or what is happening in that picture and add some dialogues in the bubbles given in the picture so let's do it the first one is already there in your textbook so what you see in the first picture you can see Velasco standing there watching his ship and all the information is written just under the picture mobile Alabama USA February 28 1955 I'm Velasco so you are telling it from the point of view of Velasco. I'm Velasco. I'm a sailor and the narrator of the story. That's Caldas pointing to his ship. He is saying that's Caldas, my ship. I'm traveling from Mobile, Alabama in the US to my country, Colombia so the first picture it is the answer is already there in the textbook you just can see it in your textbook and now your task is to write the rest of the picture so let's go to picture number two what do you see in this picture you can see the ship called us and five shipmates are there including Velasco Velasco and his four friends you can see in the picture I have four shipmates they are Carabello, Castillo, Rengifo and Herrera so you can write it just under the picture I have four shipmates they are Carabello Castillo, Rengifo and Herrera. Now let's go to the third picture. 
picture. What do you see in the third picture? The ship plunged into an abyss and disappeared. And picture number four. My shipmates were trying to get onto the raft. You can see in the picture the other people are trying to reach to that raft. My shipmates were trying to get onto the raft. One of the rafts had already disappeared from the view. Picture number five. We called out to each other and tried to stay afloat. Picture number six. The wind is whipping hard. I'm not able to sit on the raft. Picture number seven. I rode against the wind and tried to reach my shipmates. Picture number eight. Suddenly, a gigantic wave lifted the raft. When I came down, I saw only the hands of Carabello and Castillo. Picture number nine. Meanwhile, Rangifo tried to stay above water and his headphones aloft in his right hand. Picture number 10. Rangifo was tired and lost his heart. He sang calling out to me, Fatso, Fatso. Picture number 11. I was aware of the sun. Stupefied, I looked at my watch. It was noon on the dot. Picture number 12. I don't know what to do. I looked at my belongings. I have a watch, a gold ring, keys to my locker, and three business cards. So, now you have said the complete story of the shipwrecked sailor <coughs> through these pictures, through these 12 pictures. The first and last one is already there in the textbook. The rest of the events, the scenes, dialogues, you have to write under the picture in your textbook. So I hope you can write it. Thank you.